Hey, it's Boshi here, and today we're taking a look at the Scoliac Whip in the new Melee 2.0 system of Warframe. Let's have a look at the Scoliac's base stats. The Scoliac has 8.5 impact damage, 8.5 puncture damage, and 38.5 slash damage. Spin attack of 118, slam attack of 110 damage, and a wall attack of 220 damage. Very nice attack speed at 1.3, low crit strike and damage multipliers, a status chance of 15%, and a stamina cost of 12. Scoliac's blueprint can be found in your clan dojo and replicated for 50,000 credits. The new melee system implements stances. Coiling Viper is the most compatible with the Scoliac. Features wide sweeping attacks along with flips, giving an overall sense of high mobility. The Scoliac is a high damage infested melee weapon. Its main use is cutting your way through hordes of infested enemies, but can also deal decent damage to the other factions when modded specifically. Its upsides are its high slash damage with normal attacks. This weapon is obviously devastating against the infested faction. Its high base damage and attack speed allow it to match up with the other weapons even against different factions. It also hits multiple enemies with its attacks and has a long range. It knocks down enemies with its jump attack which also deal toxin damage with a chance of inflicting the toxin DOT status. It is also good for maneuvering yourself with a slide attack. Its disadvantages are mainly apparent in its manufacturing costs. It requires 1.2 thousand plastids, 4 mutagen masses, a former, and 80 thousand credits. You also need to be mastery rank 6 to craft this weapon. It has low base impact and puncture damage making it less effective against shield enemies and armored enemies. Now let's have a look at modding your Scoliac whip for the best damage against all factions. For voids and infested you want to start with your coiling viper. Add a Shocking Touch and Fever Strike to make corrosive damage good against armored enemies. Then add your Spoiled Strike and Pressure Point to up your base damage. A Fury for some extra attack speed. And a Jagged Edge to up your slash damage. Reversing Corrupted Enemies, add in a North Wind to deal with the Corrupted Crewman Shields, Fusion Mower Shields, and the Shield Ospreys. Reversing Infested, add in a Rending Strike for extra slash damage, or a Focus Energy to up the corrosive damage and then a reach mod for extra range or a smite infested if you want extra damage against the infested faction. Versus the corpus you want to add in a shocking touch, focus energy and a north wind for extra magnetic damage, a fury for the extra attack speed, pressure point and a spoiled strike to up your base damage with the spoiled strike somewhat countering the fury, then add in a reach mod for extra range and then a jagged edge for extra slash damage. You can also replace the reach mod with a smite corpus for extra damage and if you don't need that extra range. First in Grenier you want to add in your focus energy, shocking touch and a molten impact to form radiation damage versus Grenier bombards and napalms. Then put in your spoiled strike and pressure point to create a base damage modifier, a fury for extra attack speed, jagged edge to up your slash damage as usual and a reach mod which can be replaced with smite Grenier if you want extra damage versus the Grenier. So should you get it? I definitely recommend this weapon and for anyone with the resources and former to spend then definitely. Its speed and power make it a perfect weapon versus many factions and it also looks pretty damn cool. This has been Boshi, thanks for watching.